Very carefully, Edward crept his way through the bushes ahead of him. The branches crackled and creaked as he made his way through. Then, Edward's mouth dropped. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. There, on the other side of the bushes, was a tank engine. It was broken, rusty, and covered in overgrown. The engine looked a lot like Stephanie, but judging by the patches of paint that was still remaining, she was in a different livery. So that's what they looked like at the locomotive. Edward didn't know what to say. He didn't speak for a moment. Then, the engine smiled at him. And judging by the smile, Edward could tell that the engine was kind and gentle. Hello, my name is Edward. Pleased to meet you, Edward. My name is May. May? Are you that May? The May who used to work on the Hohen Railway? Yes. I was right. Your little brother told me and my friends all about you. Max! Is he on solo again? I don't believe it. He's doing service. I'm glad to hear that. But Max told us you were scrapped. That's what I learned at one point. Why? It's a long story. Do you like stories? Yes, I tell stories to the other engines all the time. Then I hope you'll like my story. Thank you, Edward. That's the most kindest thing you've ever said. But I doubt you will want to preserve me. 
Sir Top of Hatwood. He's the controller of the Northwestern Railway. But, but what if he doesn't love me? Nonsense. He would yeah, love to have you as part of his railway. Don't be silly. Besides, he's got a lot of steam engines. Indeed. He does. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Edward was about to agree. But then he remembered what Harley had said when he first oh, came to Sodor. Oh, Harley. Wait! You can't go yet. Why? Because one of your old rivals is on this railway. And if he finds out that you are still alive, he'll surely send you for scrap. Why are you in that state? Harley. What? Harley is on this railway? No, of course. Yes, but don't worry. When the time is right, I'll take you to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor and Kevin will have you fixed in no time. I promise you will be a really useful engine again. May smiled the biggest smile she had made for years. Thank you, Edward. Thank you for looking after me. Edward just smiled. Later, after dropping his stone trucks to bring them dogs, Edward was at the steamworks having his brakes fixed. Although he was a bit disappointed that he lost the race, he was still pleased that one good thing came out of it. Yep. Just then, Harley pulled in. So there you are, Edward. Being fixed, eh? I told you I would win the race. Afternoon, Harley. Well done. Wait. What did you say? I said, afternoon and well done. Yep. I that was a good sport. Do you have a to do, Harley? We're gonna stand around dusty. Take up another track. Yeah. He'll get what's coming to him. I know, I never wanted to mind a horrible engine like him. Edward couldn't have agreed more. Then he noticed an empty flatbed nearby. He knew that he had to tell Victor and Kevin about May. Victor, Kevin, I need to tell you both what happened during the race. Edward told them all about May. Victor and Kevin were amazed. Excellent work, my friend. I'm sure the will be pleased with you. Tell them what. I will soon, but I can't because if Harley finds out that May is still alive, he will take her for scrap. Yeah. And the time is right, I'll tell him. Okay, I missed that. That night at the sheds, Edward was telling the other engines about his race with Harley. He was about to tell them about May when Sir Tubman Hatt arrived. Tomorrow will be another busy day. Your jobs will start early. But Edward, you will have the day off tomorrow. Edward was pleased with this. That meant he could be able to help May in the morning. After Sir Tubman Hatt had left, Edward continued. I have to tell you all what happened during the race. And what would that be? You're about to find out. Edward explained about his brakes failing while going down Gordon's Hill, and also about May, who he had discovered down the old overgrown line. The engines couldn't believe what they were hearing. Wait, May is still alive? She's alive. Max, why didn't you tell us she wasn't scrapped? She told me to keep it secret when I came to Sodor and became a uh, permanent member. I started looking for her, but I couldn't remember where I hid her. Thank you, Edward, for helping me find my big sister. Well, it was by accident, but you're welcome. Oh, the next morning, Edward was on his way to the Sodor Steamworks for the empty flatbed. He was also going to pick up Rocky at the Soto Search and Rescue Center, so that way he could lift May onto the flatbed. As he made his way along the main line towards the steamworks, Edward didn't notice Harley waiting at a junction with his goods train bound for Vickerstown. But Harley saw Edward. That's not your business. Harley 
probably soon cut off to Edward, who was waiting at a red signal. Change and 